Magical, mystical Bali brims with things to do for every type of traveller. Whether you're seeking outdoor adventures, a culture buzz, a relaxing beach escape at a resort, a girl's spa trip or a spiritual experience, you can find it all on this enchanting Indonesian island. Nature lovers can scale the peaks of lushly cloaked volcanoes, gape at gushing waterfalls, surf epic waves at Bali's beautiful beaches and cycle through vibrant fields where rice paddies bristle in the golden sun. Culture vultures too will find plenty to love. Visit local villages, learn about centuries-old crafts or pay your respects at Bali's sacred temples. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated things to do in Bali. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. Let's cut to the chase. At 10. Escape to the Nusa Islands If you're planning a romantic getaway in Bali, consider the Nusa Islands. Here you'll find wild beaches, hidden caves, blue lagoons and a more traditional way of life. Nusa Lenbongan is the most visited of these three slower paced islands. About 20 kilometers offshore from Sanur, it's easily accessible by speedboat. Top things to do here include surfing, snorkeling, diving, kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding and watching the local seaweed farmers along the shore. Don't miss Dream Beach, Mushroom Bay and the Devil's Tears Blowhole. Nusa Panida is the largest of the island trio. It's home to rugged rock formations, a bird sanctuary, caves, coral reefs and popular dive spots with manta arrays and turtles. A must-do here is the steep hike down to Kelling King Beach, also known as T-Rex Bay. It's one of the top beaches in Asia and a popular spot for Instagrammers. Nusa Senengan, the most petite of the island trio, is known for its beautiful blue lagoon, a popular hangout for cliff jumpers. An insider's tip, if you can't squeeze a stay here into your Bali itinerary, you can always book a day trip. At 9, catch a wave at a Bali surf spot. Bali is famous for its fantastic surf breaks. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned wave rider, you're sure to find a top spot to hone your skills. Beginners will find gentle waves, surfboard rentals and affordable lessons in the top tourist areas of Kuta, Seminyak and Kangu's Echo Beach. Just head to the beach and find a vendor along the shore. But some of Bali's best surf spots are a little further afield. Best surfed at low tide, Dreamland on the Bukit Peninsula lures experienced surfers in big swells and others when the waves are smaller. Uluwatu's legendary surf breaks are more technical and the view of one of Bali's famous Uluwatu temple perched on the clifftop makes surfing here a magical experience. Padang Padang is known as the Balinese pipeline. Advanced surfers ride the big barrel breaks over the reef here and surfing enthusiasts of all stripes come to watch the annual Rip Curl Cup. Blue Point, Green Bowl, Balangang, Bingin and Nyang Nyang are other popular surf spots for intermediate and more advanced wave riders. And now at 8, browse the shops in Seminyak and Kangu. Boho design, beachwear, bags and bangles. You'll find all this and more along the busy streets of Seminyak and Kangu. In Seminyak, hip boutiques include Paulina Caterina, Magali Pascal, Uma and Leopold, Biasa and Bamboo Blonde. Browse styles for more than 40 independent designers under one roof at Bali Boat Shed, which sells men's, women's and children's wear, or head to Sea Gypsy for handcrafted silver jewellery. For one-stop shopping, stroll through Seminyak Village, an air-conditioned Western-style mall packed with stores selling everything from fashion to shoes to jewellery and souvenirs. You can also browse the stores in the smaller open-air Seminyak Square. Looking for a real bargain? Browse the stalls at the Seminyak flea markets near Seminyak Square. Clothing, jewellery, carvings and handicrafts are among the many treasures you'll find here. Kangu is home to many of these same designer stores as well as other hip boutiques. One Love sells sustainable and small batch styles created by independent designers. Cove is another worthwhile stop with island style decor, clothing and jewellery and Indigo Luna sells eco-conscious yoga wear and swimwear at its flagship store here. At 7. Hike to Bali's Waterfalls 
waterfall aficionados are spoiled for choice in Bali. Some falls are hidden jewels, cascading down mossy rocks along jungly trails and spilling into tranquil pools. Others lie along short, well-trodden tourist tracks. Wherever you travel in Bali, it's likely you'll find a waterfall within a short drive. Most require a small fee, but hiking to them is one of the best cheap things to do in Bali. Arguably one of the most beautiful cascades in Bali is Second Pool Waterfall, a series of about seven falls. But it's also one of the most challenging to access. You have to negotiate a dirt road and steep steps on the three to four hour round trip trek. Easier to access, Gitget Waterfall is among Bali's most popular falls. Stroll along a wooden boardwalk to this twin-streamed beauty. Along the way, you'll pass over a small gorge and cool streams and see fragrant spice and macadamia nut trees. Tibumana Waterfall is a lovely single veil flowing into a limpid pool and Tenganungan is also worth a stop. A large resort overlooks these falls, but what it lacks in tranquility, it compensates for inconvenience. This is one of the closest large waterfalls to the busy resort areas of Kuta, Sanur and Ubud. The split streams of Banyumala waterfall are eye candy for photographers. You'll find it high in the mountains of North Bali, about a 90-minute drive from Ubud. Next up at 6, swing over the Tegalalang rice terrace. Bali is known for its Instagrammable experiences, whatever that is, and you'll find a top one at the Tegalagang Rice Terraces. Not only can you ogle a mosaic of vibrant greens at this UNESCO World Heritage Site, you can also soar over it in a giant swing. It's an exhilarating way to soak up the splendor of this historic attraction. Cap off your swing with coffee tasting in a little hut overlooking the rice fields. And be sure to try the famous Cat Pusino or Kopi Luwak, made from coffee beans pooped out by civets. It tastes better than it sounds. Really? <laughs> Tegalalang Rice Terrace lies about a 30-minute drive north of Ubud. A little further afield, about a 90-minute drive from Ubud, you can have a less touristy experience at the Jatilui Rice Terraces, which are also recognized by UNESCO. Next up at 5, watch a Kekak fire dance at Pura Luhu Uluwatu. One of Bali's most famous temples, Pura Luhu Uluwatu, sits in a spectacular setting on a sea cliff. The temple is believed to protect Bali from evil sea spirits. Sunset is the best time to visit. Not only can you see the temple glow in the late golden light and soak up the breathtaking views, you can also watch the special Kekak and fire dance show performances held each evening. These are one of the highlights of a visit here. Billowing flames, colorful traditional costumes and mesmerizing dances enchant adults and children alike. Only Hindus can enter the temple, but you can wander around, watch the cheeky monkeys and gaze out as the setting sun ignites the sky. Insider's tip, the traffic coming to and from the temple around sunset can slow your journey, leave plenty of time to arrive. And now, at number four, climb to the top of Mount Batur or Mount Agung. Seeing the sun rise from the misty peak of 1700 meter high Mount Batur is one of the most iconic things to do in Bali. But you'll need to set your alarm, the hike begins in the pre-dawn darkness. Anyone with average fitness, even older kids, should be able to conquer this hike. The trailhead lies about a one and a half hour drive from Ubud and about two and a half hours from Seminyak. Travelling along well-marked trails, the ascent takes about two to three hours and is best tackled on a clear day. Once at the top, you can gaze across the caldera to the surrounding mountains and the glittering expanse of Lake Batur. Top off your adventure with a picnic breakfast, including eggs cooked by the volcano's steam. If you're an active traveller looking for things to do in Bali for couples, this is a great option. Though the Mount Batur hike is popular, it's not Bali's highest mountain. That distinction goes to the 3,031 meter high Mount Agung. If you're a more experienced hiker and prefer a less traveled trail, you can hire a guide for this longer, more challenging trek. Another mountain hike to consider if you're a socially conscious traveler is the award-winning Muntigunung Trek on the northern slopes of Bali's mountains. The cost funds projects that support local villages and with every step, you are helping to improve the lives of locals in the region. And now at three, visit the Ubud Monkey Forest. A stroll through the monkey forest in Ubud is about more than just capturing monkey selfies. 
It's an evocative journey through a mystical jungle and one of the most popular things to do in Ubud. Also called the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary, this lush reserve represents the harmonious coexistence between humans and animals. Trails wind under giant banyan and nutmeg trees, where the ruins of sacred shrines and moss-cloaked temples peek out through snaking vines. On the southwest side of the forest is one of the sanctuary's three temples, the 14th century Pura Dalem Agung Padang Tegal. An ancient bathing temple, Pura Beji, nestled next to a cool stream, is another evocative backdrop for photos. And yes, you'll also see plenty of monkeys. Troops of free-roaming, grey, long-tailed macaques scamper among the temple ruins, enchanting tourists with their antics and snatching food from unsuspecting onlookers. Secure all your belongings and avoid direct eye contact for the most harmonious experience. This is one of the top places to visit in Ubud, especially for animal lovers and photographers. Now at two, Bask on Bali's beaches. Bali's beaches differ dramatically depending on where you go. Are you seeking soft golden sand and rustling palms? Head to honeymoon favorite Nusa Dua Beach, set on its own gated resort area on a private peninsula. Some of Bali's best resorts fringe the frequently groomed sands here. Jimbaran Bay is perfect for relaxing on the soft white sand, a refreshing dip in the typically calm sea or a beachfront seafood lunch. Sanoa Beach is great for sailing, kite surfing and kite flying. To soak up the scene, the beaches on Kangu, Kuta, Ligian and Seminyak are the top picks. In Seminyak, Double Six Beach is a prime people watching spot where you can rent a sun lounger, relax under a colourful umbrella and enjoy easy access to resorts and restaurants. For dramatic beauty, Kelling King Beach on Nusa Penida takes the cake its dramatic setting and T-Rex-shaped headland make it one of the best beaches in Asia. Look for manta rays from the clifftop, but tackle the tricky descent to the beach only if you dare. Bali is perhaps best known for its surf beaches. If riding the swells is your top priority, Dreamland, Kangu, Balangan, Bingin, Padang Padang and Niang Niang or the cliff-fringed hidden coves of Uluwatu are the hottest surf spots. And finally, at number one, watch the sunset at Puratana Lot. If you can only see one temple on your Bali visit, make it Puratana Lot. This is one of the most popular places to visit in Bali. Perched on its own rocky islet, lapped by foamy waves, this sacred sea temple enjoys one of the most spectacular settings of all Bali's temples. Sunset is the most popular time to visit, even better if it coincides with low tide when the narrow spit of land emerges from the frothy sea and you can walk across to the temple. Note though that foreigners can't enter the temple. Still, it makes a stunning sight. After you've clicked all your photos, save time to stroll around the other temples and shrines in the complex. A highlight is Batu Balong, another sea temple with a rocky causeway connecting it to the shore. Wander the walkways and browse the market stalls, relax at the clifftop restaurants and cafes and sample the famous Kopi Luwak, civet coffee. Don't be surprised if you see one of the friendly civets snoozing on the tables. They make great Instagram photo ops. Puratana Lot lies about 20 kilometers northwest of Kuta. And there you have the top 10 rated things to do in Bali. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.